Hi guys, this is me Pallavi Das with my co-host Purva Rana and we are back here at CES day 2 and we are going to start from wherever we left off yesterday. So Purva, what do you have to say? Pallavi, I am very very excited. Day 2 of CES 2019. Today we are going to see more of robotics, futuristic technology, AR, VR. I can't wait to go in. So let's hit it. Guys, I'm at the Sony booth and I'm looking at this beautiful TV. It's Sony's first 8K TV and it's called the Master Series 8K LCD. It's just so beautiful as you can see and it's a lot of resolution. It's four times more than 4K. And uh, this 8K Master Series also features Netflix calibrated mode and IMAX enhanced. Can you believe it? It's just amazing. Look at how beautiful it is. We are at TCL booth guys and I'm going to introduce you to the next generation TV series that's called Roku TV. It's a 75 inch TV with QLED technology that boasts about 8K resolution. They have a new technology imbibed which is called backlighting technology and the company calls it quantum contrast. Roku TV is equipped with microphone to accept voice commands which is an exciting feature because that makes this TV remoteless. So you can have your voice command and you can operate the TV without a physical remote. So let's see how the industry copes up with that. So we are at Skyworth and uh, Skyworth is a leading Chinese producer of audiovisuals, TV and home appliances. Right now I'm standing in front of Great Waterfall TV. It's a 65 inch OLED TV with great contrast and beautiful colors. Uh, the main feature of this TV is it can be mounted on a wall like a waterfall to show our personalized photos, pictures and beautiful memories. There is always a seamless integration with Skyward TV and smartphone to create a new engaging experience. Please have a look. I'm at the Audio Technica booth and I'm looking at this headphones which was recently launched and it's called the ATH M50 XBT headphones and what's really special about this is the Bluetooth feature. So the earlier version of this which is the ATH M50 X was received very well by public because of its professional studio headphones and its sound quality which is great. So now this one comes with Bluetooth which is amazing and it has like 40 hours of battery life and uh, supports the Audio Technica Connect app for whatever convenient control of headphone settings and everything. So it's great, right? We are at Audio Technica booth and today we're going to talk about Quiet Point noise cancelling wireless headphones and the specific product that I'm going to talk about is ANC 500 BT. Uh, the major difference is the noise cancelling technique that means that there's no environmental noise. Uh, the headphones have ear cups inbuilt which basically helps you in uh, volume adjustments, music playback and handling of calls. So I think it's pretty nice and handy. Uh, it has a battery life of 20 hours which makes it incredible. So here we are at South Hall and we are outside Sennheiser booth and I have Jacqueline right in front of me to talk about this cool wireless headphones. Hi. 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 Good to meet you. Do you want to tell us something? Yeah, definitely. So those are our Momentum True Wireless. Um, they are um, a true wireless headphone, as the name suggests. You have four hours of battery time and you can charge, using the case, um, another two cycles on the go, which is uh, very useful, I think. Um, what's special about these earphones is that they have excellent sound because we're using our 7mm audio file drivers in them. And um, you have a transparent hearing feature that you can activate by double tapping on the right earbud, which um, lets you experience your um, outside environment and you know lets you stay safe in traffic, for example. Thank you, Jackie. across is really cool headphones by Jabra, it's called Elite 85H. So it has 32 hour battery life which is great, right? I mean if you're on the run you don't have to like worry about that. Also it has something called smart sound so it can figure out your surroundings and depending on where you are and how much of what you need, if there's traffic it can control that, I mean like whatever sound you need to hear or if it's really quiet and you can only listen to music so it's great I think. This is what I need right now, what do you think? 
So I found this really cool watch by Garmin. It's called uh, Vivo Active 3 Music, and the great thing about this is, you know, if you it can have its own number, and then you can receive and text messages and also download 500 songs. So you know, if someone wants to get in touch with you and you don't have your phone around, they can message you here and you can message back. So you're still connected with people. So that's awesome, right? Hi, so I'm at the Belkin booth and I found something that I'm always looking for. So here you can charge your Apple Watch if you have one and your iPhone and this can be used for charging any other device. I mean, how cool is that, right? Everything in just one. So yeah, I really like it. Tech and UBTech is the maker of robotic toys and now I have with me is Walker. As you can see it has hand, it has torso, it has got arms, hands and a head which makes it a mini humanoid. I think it's very incredible. Walker seems to walk fairly well on a smooth surface free of obstacles. It's exciting to see how well it can perform in different environments. I'm certainly excited to see what Walker becomes capable of a UBTech continues its development. Hi guys, we are at Samsung booth and Samsung has come up with the most exciting and the most adorable product of the year that is their robot bot. Uh, we have three uh, divisions in it which is bot care, bot retail and bot air. Uh, the most interesting one is I think the bot care. It's basically a robot which is used to manage your health, your daily well-being, it's going to remind you when to take your medications, it comes in very handy, is very pretty. Uh, acts with your emotions and that is I think which makes it more human. Please have a look.